How to use the Freeform Gradient tool in Adobe Illustrator. Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with another Vectomade.com tutorial. Today I want to talk about the Freeform Gradient tool. It's this little addition right over here under your Gradient tab. If you don't see it, go to Window and Gradient and you should see your regular linear, radial, and then Freeform Gradient. So I'm just going to make a uh, an ellipse real quick and then I'm going to click on freeform gradient and it should give you some default nodes of color that's what these little points are I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one and make it red I will grab oops let me see let me go back go back to points I'm gonna grab this one and I'll make it blue we'll come back to what I just did in a minute so I can show you the difference there I wanted to show you points first and then we'll come over here and make this green. So a nice little RGB color sphere. <laughs> so that's kind of what it looks like. I'll click off so you can see without the nodes. Just really smooth, awesome color. I mean, this doesn't look great or anything, but just the fact that you're able to uh, drag these around and in live time see the preview of what's changing in front of you is awesome and illustrator has needed this for a long time because you've always had to use the mesh tool in in the past and it's just not the most friendly of tools um you, you know certain things can't be done once you've converted a shape into a mesh tool shape and so this way that's everything is still editable you can come in here on each one of these color um nodes and push out the color, you know, make the contrast harsher like this or soften it up a little bit. It just depends on what you want to do with it, you know. So we want to increase this red a little bit, increase the green, we can increase the blue a little bit too, see what that does. If you want to add nodes, you see it's got this little plus sign. You just click and you add a node. Let's just make it white, make a nice little white, I don't know, uh, uh, shiny spot right here. You know, you can make, make one on that side too. So it looks like that, something like that. Another cool thing you can do, um, it, adding points. If you want to just do points, that's what I just did. If you want to add lines, this is kind of like the, the uh, curvature tool. <coughs> I wish it was more like the pen tool, but uh, you'll see what I mean in a sec. So you click once to create a node, and then there's a line that will create the second point in the the line you're going to make, and then the third one's where you get the preview, right? So we want to make like a sort of C shape. We click here. So that's what it does. It ends up making a C shape or whatever shape you end up making, right? You can make this as complex as you want to. Um, let me try another. Just Let's just do a random, really ridiculous shape, you know, kind of something like that. Of course, it's really hard to see because <laughs> there's so much white in here, but you get the gist. Um, I, I do wish that was more like the pen tool in that you had the option to just make the second line uh, or second point a, uh, a curved section, curved line. Um, but, you know, uh, it's better than nothing. And um, nothing's what we've had up until this last update. So anyway, that's the gist of that tool. You know, go crazy with it, make all sorts of neat stuff with it. I think it's going to be very, very helpful, especially for like vectorizing stuff that's kind of nebulous looking anyway. This will really be a good way to put something together there and, and recreate artwork that uh, is just not um, high quality. Um, so that's, that's what I plan on using it most for. But you know, leave a comment down below letting me know what you think you'll use this most uh, most of the time for. And then like, subscribe, share. We're getting close to the mid-800s on this video uh, right now uh, as far as subscribers. So, um, yeah, I think I'll go through a few more of these 28, 2019 changes on Adobe. And I will see you guys in the next video.